What's up guys, welcome back to my channel where we talk about all things volleyball. As you can see, I have two very special guests here today. I have my mom and my dad here in Poland. They came all the way from Honolulu, Hawaii to see my brother in Turkey and now they are here in Kajejin, spending time with me and watching our team play. Yes. They're here, how is your guys' trip so? Far. <laughs> Maybe um, um, trip from here. We'll save that for later. Interesting trip. <laughs> anyway, you guys, I want you guys to get my get to know my parents just a little bit better. So, name. Hi, my name is Mary. Hometown. Honolulu, Hawaii. Where are you born? <laughs> I was born in Fargo, North Dakota. Yeah, you heard that right. Fargo. Occupation. A uh, teacher, but I'm retired. Yes, my mom used to teach PE at the same school that I went to. Were, were you ever my teacher? No. No. <laughs> no. Coach, yes. Coach, yes. Teacher, no. Teacher, no. I'm so happy you're here, mom. I'm I so have to add you. that she is not retired. She quit. <laughs> <laughs> She's too young to retire. <laughs> well, this video is off to a great start. Name? David. <laughs> Hometown. Honolulu. Where were you born? Upland, California. Occupation. Retired. Retired old coach. Volleyball coach. Retired old volleyball coach. So we're kind coach. of a sports family. But you guys, today we're gonna switch it up just a little bit. We're not gonna watch volleyball today. We might do another video with him later. Today we're gonna do a little parent quiz. Are you guys ready? I'm nervous. We're gonna see which parent knows more about my volleyball career. Uh-oh. Who do you think's gonna win? Me. <laughs> we'll see. So for today's video, I have whiteboards. I'm gonna ask my parents 12 questions, a couple from junior volleyball, a couple from college volleyball, and a couple from professional and Team USA volleyball. Are you guys ready? What do we do? Let's right. do it. Write the answer down on the board? Yes, write what you think the answer is on the board. We'll confirm or maybe not confirm and we'll add up the score at the end. Let's go. All right, question number one. I think this is an easy one. This is from Junior Volleyball. Where was our first Junior Olympics or Junior Nationals? Two part question. And what place did we get? Don't show it yet. Don't peek at mine. No, I'm not. Three, two, one, show. So our first Junior Nationals in 1999 was in New Orleans, and we got third place. Yay! Nice job. <laughs> Correct for everyone there. All right, so it is one to one. So that was in 1999, you guys. I was nine years old. First tournament in the United States, continental United States. Is there anything you guys remember about that tournament? Oh, I remember it well. I was really glad the boys were only nine when we had them on Bourbon Street because <sighs> They had no idea what was happening. <laughs> Better nine than 18. We had no idea what was going on. Anything from you? Well, yeah, we went to a place called Preservation Hall where they had jazz musicians and we took oh, the boys cool. there and it was really cool. An old building, old guys playing jazz music. That was pretty cool. And then I also remember the Acme Oyster House and we went to a really nice, that's a nice restaurant, but they seated Jordan and his mother at the bar. <laughs> And she did not like that. She, she <laughs> well, yeah, we were nine and 10 years old. I don't think we should be seated at a bar. I know, but that's where they seated us because we had, it was very crowded that night. Anyway. So it was an interesting experience to go to New yeah. Orleans Just for our first least. tournament. Sounds, yeah. sounds fun now, but when we were nine and 10. First yeah. introduced to the Puerto Ricans. Oh, they always beat us. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on. Question number two, in 2005, Kavika and I played in the state championship against each other because we went to different schools. Who won and what was the set score? <laughs> Three, two, one. Eric won. Oh, the set, set score. Set score, okay, <laughs> change your aunt, hurry. You have five seconds. Oh, well you saw mine. No, I didn't see it. Eric won and we won two sets to one. We only played best out of three. So, <laughs> so, point for mom. Oh, Sorry, no. dad, you got it. That but was pretty close. That was that was a close game. I remember that match very well. Do you remember that game? Because yes. Because it was very 
interesting. Spencer went off serving. Spencer McLaughlin did really well. But the other thing was that dad flew back from a road trip to oh. watch that game. Because dad was coaching the University of Hawaii. He was on a road trip. But because we both met in the finals, he came and watched the game. I don't remember I that. I left my I'm team. I think so. Mm, Maybe. I don't My that. parents were there. I remember that. So that was a fun time. 2005, Kavik and I played against each other a lot in our lives, but I won that one. <laughs> Point for mom. Yes! Two to one. Question three. In 2006, I went on my first USA volleyball trip with the youth national team. Ooh, that's a long time ago. Where was the trip? Don't look South at mine. I didn't look at yours. I, I, I already wrote mine. I, I can't tell you. Huh? I can't Come tell on. you. Are Three, you two, one. Dominican Republic. Both of you got this wrong. El Salvador. I put Salvador. What so, country is Salvador? <laughs> and where is Salvador? South America. You no, guys. El Salvador. Oh. Both of you got it wrong. Oh. My first trip with USA was to the Dominican Republic. I missed that trip. That's why I didn't Both, remember. Yeah, you guys were not able to go to that trip. El Salvador was two years later for the junior national team. You've done your homework. <laughs> I mean, it's my life. I remember what happened. No points. Okay. Two one. Of you. But one thing I want to say about that trip mm. was that it was a very, very difficult trip. And this is nothing against the Dominican Republic. It was just the first trip. We weren't ready. It was hot and humid and no air condition and spoiled American over here. We were not ready for that one. But things got better after that. Anyway. And the parents took good care of you. The parents took with. very good care of us. Anyway, two. And there was no internet. There was no internet, which is why my cell phone bill was really high. I forgot that part. <laughs> Moving Isn't on. It, didn't you drop your cell phone in the toilet there? <laughs> no. <laughs> that was another time. Stop it. Two to one. Question four. You guys were this fair for this one. In 2008, I traveled with the USA Junior National Team to El Salvador. To El Salvador. What place did we finish and who did we beat in the final game? Wait, I guess you finished first since you No, said in the final, in our final match. Doesn't the final, in the last match. Cheater. No, I already wrote my answer. But what place did we get? You have to say mm. what place we got. Okay. Three, two, one. We got third and we beat Mexico. <laughs> Hey, you cheated. You looked at his. Didn't you? <laughs> Did you, you cheat? <laughs> she, had, she had Cuba. Mom. No point. That's minus, no minus one for mom. No. You guys were there at that turn. You guys were there at that tournament. We were. What do you remember about El Salvador? The Canadian parent got robbed. <laughs> we're trying to parent. keep things positive on this channel. What do you remember about El Salvador? Um, they had armed guards on the bus. They did. That's true. And there were a lot of little children that actually we reached out and helped and bought them shoes and mm. and some things that they really, we thought they needed. For sure. So that was actually felt kind of good. That's nice. But clearly they don't remember anything about the volleyball tournament. I remember no, the arena. The arena, I do remember the arena. The, An another fun trip from a while back. I do remember the Lawsons went surfing. In oh yeah. I do remember that. <laughs> we remember a little things. All right. I think the score is still two to one. I don't know. <laughs> I thought she got a minus. Cheer. We're going to keep her at two one because we don't know what we're going to get moving forward. All right. Question number five. College volleyball now. Ooh. In 2009, who was my first NCAA volleyball match against when I played for Stanford? Regular season game. Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> My first game was against UOP. Oh. And mom said no idea. You realize how many games ago that was? <laughs> Dad said Kent State. And right after that, UOP dropped volleyball. Both got it wrong. So <laughs> no points there. That was a tough one. Yes. That was a tough one. You guys. Impossible. Definitely. Oh, definitely not there for that one. But all right. Still two to one after five questions. <laughs> this ain't looking good. Okay, you guys should get this one. In 2010, we won the NCAA championship. Who did we beat in the semifinals? We beat Penn State in the finals. <laughs> no cheat did. I got it already, Mary. <laughs> you have no idea, so you lose. Oh, yeah. They were both definitely there for this one. Ready? Did, did set score? No. no. Okay. Go. 
Ohio State. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't CSUN? No. I could have sworn it was CSUN. I think you had to beat them to get into the year. We that beat them in the conference final. Oh, we beat Ohio God. State. Yes! In the semi-finals. We're oh, midway. that was a that was a, a dad fail on that one. I thought for sure it was CISA. That was a fun tournament. We finally made it to the NCAAs. We were playing in front of our home crowd, full arena for the first time ever, and we won the title. That was fun. And he was crying on national television. <laughs> <laughs> That All right, was tears an of happiness. Fabulous moment. It was. For sure. That was a good one. All right, three to one, I believe. <laughs> Ooh, okay, we're moving on to pro volleyball. Ooh, good. Question seven. I am currently playing in my 10th season overseas. List every country Ooh. I've played in in order. So I need 10 countries on the board. 10 countries? Yes, you every played, season. But you played. No, I haven't played in ten countries, but just list, right. list out the. Well, I'm just putting countries. Okay, but put how many seasons I played in each then. This is a long one, guys. I can't even remember myself. There should be ten total seasons on the board. Yeah, I got it. Ready? Oh, what's that one? <laughs> Shoot, I forgot oh, Italy. Okay. I forgot Italy. Germany three, Russia four. four. Oh. Italy won, Austria won, and Poland won. Oh, I forgot Italy. Well, I should win because I have all the right countries. <laughs> oh, we'll give I it just, to you, Dad. Neither really got it right. No, I got it right. That was four and. But three. we're gonna give Dave. Dad the point yeah. because a he, mercy point. He did put Italy down. Yeah. And I forgot Italy. So yeah, this is my tenth season, guys, and in order it went: Germany, Austria. Germany, Germany, Russia. Russia, Italy, Russia, 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 and now I'm here in Poland. So it has been a long time. Do you guys think I could honestly have a career playing professional volleyball? Tell well, the truth. Well, Tell the truth. I think you were good enough, but the job opportunities as a libero were not good. They're still not good. And uh, somehow you've managed to survive and play somewhere, um, sometimes obscurely, like when you played in Latina. Or Leipzig. Mittel Leipzig. Deutschland, Mittel Deutschland. Um, yeah. Mittel Deutschland was your first opportunity, so that was, yep. uh, that was kind of lucky, but. Yeah, I agree. Uh, but now you've established yourself, so it's a little easier to find a job, and yep. you've established yourself as one of the better players in the world, so. Oh, thanks, Dad. Uh, Mom, <laughs> well, I'm like very much a homebody, you guys. When I'm in Hawaii, I'm always at home, I'm always with them. What was your main concern when I went overseas the first year? Just adjusting to everything that's required of you, whether it's, first of all, interacting with other people, the language barrier, the, you know, living by yourself, I thought was gonna be okay, but I think it was more the interaction and having to put yourself out there to embrace other cultures and other people. And I agree with that. I don't think I did a great job of that at first, but I think now I'm much better and I know how to reach out to teammates and be in the culture and talk to teammates and the people in the club and families and all of that. So it gets easier. It's not very easy at first, but you adjust and you grow and you learn how to do it. You want my answer? Yes. <laughs> Maybe. My concern was that you couldn't drive a stick shift, so I that needed, was a big yeah, concern. <laughs> and then you couldn't read what gas to put in your car, and you ruined your first car. Are you trying to allude to some story? Yes, I am. <laughs> he you guys, put diesel fuel in his regular fuel car and ruined ruined, ruined the, the first car I had overseas. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you for sharing that, Dave. Thank, well, no, that's, next. that's a funny, okay. That's part that of, was a funny that, story. That's part of uh, going to Europe mm -hmm. and learning. That is true. All right, question number eight. What's the score, two to two? Never mind the score already. <laughs> My editor has the score on the board. All right, question number eight. With the USA senior national team, where was my first volleyball trip abroad? On the senior team? Yes. 2013. Three, Ready? two, one. All wrong. Poland. <laughs> you guys, my first ever national team trip was to here in really? Poland. Did we come? What city? Katowice. Oh. I think we were here. No, I don't think you came to that one, but it was about an hour away from here in the Polish volleyball mecca, Katowice, in Spodek Arena in front of 13,000 fans. I remember 
basically freaking out and being so nervous. And it was my first experience overseas and I feel like it was in Poland and now I'm playing here. It's kind of funny. <laughs> Both of you got it wrong. <laughs> moving on, moving on. Question number 10. Ooh. Sad speaking. Well, you can see the questions. In 2015, USA Volleyball won the World Cup. You were there, you were watching. We played 11 matches. What was our record and who got second place in the tournament? Let's just go with record. We'll go with record first. What was our record? We won the tournament, that's my only clue. 11 matches? Yeah, this was a fun tournament. It was a hard tournament. Where was it? Japan. Oh, that's when you played round robin. Yeah, three, two, one. 10 and one. Look at that. Cheater. <laughs> I didn't cheat. So yeah, guys, we won the World Cup that year on the final day, but we won lost one match and that was to Poland. Oh. But Poland lost to Italy on the final day. So USA and Italy got first and second and qualified for the 2016 Olympics. I'm sure that was a big story here in Poland, but we yeah. won the tournament. That's all we cared about was that we won. Uh-oh, mom, I think dad's winning. It's okay. Okay. That's good. I'm used to losing to him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a hard one. In 2016, Berlin Recycling Volleys won the CEV Cup. We won the CEV Cup, which is the tournament right under Champions League. You guys know that. In which country did we win the final? We played, it was a two match series. So we played a home and away. So we played the first match at home and then we went to another country and won the final there. Oh. It wasn't in Germany. I'll say that. Were we there? No. Um, <laughs> three, two, one. Russia is the right answer. Woo! Yeah, so be our volleys, we beat Sergut in the CEV Cup final. You you helped me when you said it wasn't at home. It wasn't at Because I had it Germany down the first. <laughs> Should've Thank happened. you very much. You're welcome. But yeah, we actually won the tournament that year, which was kind of cool. Even though we lost Champions League and then we got bumped down to CEV Cup. We don't talk about that part. Anyway, it is Good job. three to three, four to, it's tied. Heading into the final question, Ooh. you guys. And I don't know what the final question is. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Last question, question 12. In 2019, USA Volleyball qualified for Tokyo 2020. Who did we beat in the deciding match of the pool play of four teams? So it was a pool pl pool of four. We played a round robin, but the final match was against this team. And if they won, they went to Tokyo. If we won, we went to Tokyo. <laughs> did, did this team eventually get to go? No. Like, other way? Okay. This right, team did not end up going to Tokyo. Oh, I know. Oh, <laughs> uh, this team did not go? No. Okay. Three, two, one. Both guessed Serbia. Both are wrong. It was actually the Netherlands. Oh. I would never have thought of the Netherlands. We played in the Netherlands in the qualifier and we beat Belgium, we beat Korea, and then we beat the Netherlands on the last day to qualify. And you would not have qualified? We, we would have had another chance, but if we had lost to the Netherlands, we they would have qualified and we would have been out. Good game. It's a tie, tie. game. No, we need, well, a, we need a tiebreaker. Okay, name the head coach of the Netherlands. No, neither of you are gonna get that. I know who it is. Who? Selinger. No, it's an Italian person, so. What about Ali, Ari Salinger's son? Didn't he coach the Netherlands? Tiebreaker, who does Zoxa play on Wednesday? Oh, I'm Coming not. up. Spelling doesn't count. I just, just threw out that question because it's the only one I could think of. Are you ready? Go. Olstein, Warsaw, another Polish team. I won. I won. I, won. I at least have a city down here. <laughs> hey, we we all won. It's a tie. Woo! <laughs> all right, you guys. We're gonna end it in a tie. So these two have peace because they have a couple more days here. Yes. Overseas, please. and we all need to survive. <laughs> anyway, mom and dad, thank you for playing the game. I don't. Next time I'll make it a little easier. Thanks for having us there. Well, you Thank know, you for have, being on my channel. You get older, the memory kind of goes, so. I know, and some of those were tough questions, but we just needed to see, and we got a couple of stories out, out of it, so that's all I wanted. But mom and dad, thank you for being on the channel. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. But as usual, get out, have some fun, play some volleyball, and I'll see you all soon. Aloha. Peace.